Once upon a time during a season, when the leaves turn as golden as the afternoon sun, our clever Br'er Rabbit was away at school, toiling over his books. It was Thanksgiving, a time for home and hearth, and Br'er Rabbit, far from his burrow, received a parcel packed with love and care from his family. Br'er Rabbit at school? asked the little boy. Indeed, Uncle Remus replied with a spark in his eye. How else would he outwit so many, if not for his learned ways? Well, that box was a treasure trove of southern delights. Spare ribs dripping with sauce, sweet potatoes baked to a perfect sweetness, jitterlings crackling bread succulent turkey, and cake that would make your mouth water just by looking at it. Br'er Rabbit, oh, he was ready to feast until his belly was round as the full moon. But shrewd Br'er Fox had seen Br'er Rabbit with that box, and his curiosity was piqued. What's in the box? He called out. Brim Rabbit Slice always claimed it was nothing but old papers, a clever ruse to throw off nosy neighbors. Brer Fox nose twitching was not fooled. He knew there must be more to this box than met the eye. So with a bit of cunning, he decided to investigate. Meanwhile, Brer Rabbit, hmm. thinking on his paws, hatched a plan to throw Brer Fox off the scent. With a knock at the door and a step into the room, Brer Fox found Brer Rabbit buried in his studies, but all oh, the temptation that was about to unfold for Br'er Rabbit offered Br'er Fox a taste of persimmon beer. Greedy Br'er Fox couldn't resist, and as he guzzled down the beer, he swelled up like a balloon in the Macy's parade. Poor Fox, scared out of his wits, thought he'd burst. And Br'er Rabbit could barely contain his laughter at the sight. Well, the tale ends with Br'er Fox laid up, feeling the effects of his greed, and Br'er Rabbit, ever the trickster, keeping all the other goodies to himself. Uncle Remus looked off with a wise look and says, Just like Br'er Rabbit, some folks always seem to want the best pieces of the pie for themselves. The story hit home, and the little boy, learning a lesson of his own, shared the bounty from his table with Uncle Remus, who smiled and blessed him for his good heart. Uncle Remus looks at the boy and says, Bless your soul, you are always a good little boy, sometimes. <laughs>